Shalom, we'll praise you, see how Bashem, Yom Shah, Bashem, our Rakal Kodash. Double honors unto your apostles and elders, a great meal, son, who rule well. And Shalom to the whole elect. This is a biblical commentary on the book of Luke, the third chapter, and it reads Now, in the 15th year of the reign of Tiberius Caesar, right, Tiberius Caesar is Augustus Caesar, okay? Showing you the Bible is. Um, is um is sound when it comes to the secular history, right? It says Pontius Pilate being governor of Judea, and Herod being tetrarch of Galilee, and his brother Philip tetrarch of uh, Etria, Etria, and of the region of Traconitus and Lysanias, the tetrarch of Ab Abilene. All right, so a tetrarch basically means rule of of four, basically. So it, it basically would be a county, a county of providence that's divided between four, you know, dominion that was divided between four. So um, reading on it says Ananias and Caphias, being a high priest. Um, the word of. Mosai came unto John the son of Zacharias in the wilderness. Okay. And he came into all the country about Jordan preaching the baptism of repentance for the remission of sins, as it is written in the book of the words of Isaiah, the prophet, saying, The voice of one crying in the wilderness, Prepare ye the way for the Lord to make his path straight. Right, so the, John the Baptist was basically sent as a forerunner for Yahweh Shai to prepare the way. To prepare, how was he going to prepare the way? By preparing the minds of the people for the coming of the Lord. All right, so it says, verse 5 Every valley shall be filled, and every mountain and hill shall be brought low, and the crooked shall be made straight, and the rough ways shall be made smooth, and all flesh shall see the salvation of Yahweh. All right, so the Lord basically come to bring major change. All right, and all of things as people know it. All right, and everyone's gonna see the salvation of the Lord. So reading on it says, then said he to the multitude that came forth to be baptized of him, O generation of vipers, who have warned ye to flee from the wrath that cut to come. Bring forth therefore fruits worthy for repent of repentance, and begin not to say within yourselves we have Ab uh, we have Abraham to our father, for I say unto you that Yahweh is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham, and now also the axe is laid unto the root of the trees, every tree thereof, therefore, which bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down, and cast into the fire, All right. So the Lord deemed them, or should I say John deemed them not worthy, all right, to be baptized. Because although they may say in themselves, that well, you know, we're Israel, we're Israelites. Most of weren't dealing with that. He wanted men, all right. As it tells you in the book of Jeremiah, the ninth chapter, I will get thee unto um, great men. All right, he wanted great men, elect men of the nation of Israel that basically be fruitful, all right? But these men that would be, you know, the, the vipers that John was uh, speaking on were basically worthy of basically being cast into the fire, all right? So verse 10, and the people asked him, saying, what shall we do then? He answered, saith unto them, he that have two coats, let him impart or let me not say that they're worthy to be cast into the fire. But that's, you know, the Lord was looking for, um, John basically was making mention that he's looking for worthy men, all right? And the people asked him, saying, what shall we do then? He answereth and saith unto them, he that hath two coats, let him impart to him that hath none. And he that hath meat, let him do likewise. Then came also publicans to be baptized and said unto him, Master, what shall we do? 
And he said unto them, Exact no more than that which is appointed you. And the soldiers likewise demanded, demanded of him, saying, And what shall we do? And he said unto them, Do violence to no man, neither accuse any falsely, and be content with your wages. All right. So basically, John was, was getting the people right. All right. And remember, he was baptizing by way of water. All right. Which was basically a figure or a sign of the Lord to come. Because it tells you in the book of um, Psalms 119 and 9, I believe, it says, Wherewith shall a man, a young man, cleanse his way by the washing of the word? All right. So basically, the Lord came was to come after and was to basically baptize with the word, all right? Which would be a cleansing of the spirit. But what John was doing was a cleansing of the body, which was a sign of Yahweh's baptism, all right? So it says, verse 15, And as the people were in expectation and all were mused in their hearts on John, whether he were the Christ or not, or the anointed or not, Hamashiach or not, John answered, saying unto them, All, I indeed baptize you with water, but one mightier than I cometh, the latchet of whose shoes I am not worthy to unloose. He shall baptize you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. All right? So basically, he said that the Lord, he wasn't the Lord, but the Lord's going to come. All right? He said he ain't worthy to unloose a, 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 a lace on his shoe. He said... He's basically going to baptize you with the Holy Spirit, all right? And he's basically going to, that's what the cleansing is going to be done with the Holy Spirit, all right? And with fire, because the fire that's being spoke of is the fire that's in the book of Ecclesiasticus or Sirach in the Apocrypha, the second chapter, the furnace of affliction, the affliction of your souls, chastisement, all right? To tempt your soul to basically bring it onto, um, into into a purer form, all right? Verse 17, whose fan is in his hand and he will thoroughly purge his floor and will gather the wheat into his garner but the shaft he he will burn and f with fire unquenchable, all right? So he's thoroughly going to purge his floor. And many other things in his exhortation preached he unto the people, but Herod the Tetrarch, being reproved by him for he, for I am for Herod, Herodias, his brother Philip's wife, and for all the evils which Herod had done, added yet this above all, that he shut up John in prison, right? And when all the people were baptized, it came to pass that Yahweh Shai also being baptized and praying, the heaven was open, and the Holy Spirit descended in a bodily shape like a dove upon him. And a voice came from heaven, which said, Thou art my beloved beloved son, in thee I am well pleased. All right? So the Heavenly Father did that to basically set the president that Yahweh Shai is the man. All right? That's the anointed. All right? And Yahweh Shai himself began to be um, about 30 years of age, being as was supposed the son of Joseph. <laughs> Uh, the ad and see where it says as supposed that is something that's, that was basically inserted by the Bible destruction group because when you go into the, the, the Greek or the Hebrew text you don't actually find as was supposed right? that's something that was put in there to throw you off because when you go to the genealogy of Yahweh Shai you find that he indeed is a descendant from J Joseph right? which is going to go into it's quite a hair because how could he be supposed the descendant of Joseph, but then go through to the lineage of all the men that preceded. All right, it wouldn't make no sense unless he came forth from the lines of Joseph. All right, so it says, and Yahusha himself began to be about thirty years of age, being as was supposed the son of Yahus of Joseph, who was the son of Heli, which was the son of Mephat which was the son of Levi, which was the son of uh, Melka, which was the son of Jonah, which was the son of Joseph, which was the son of Matthias, which was the son of Amos, which was the son of uh, Noam, which was the son of Esli, which was the son of Nagi, Nag Nag 
which was the son of Maaf, which was the son of Mephias, which was the son of Semai, which was the son of Joseph, which was the son of Judah, which was the son of uh, Joanna, which was the son of Razor, which was the son of Zerubbabel, which was the son of Salithiel, Sil which was the son of Neri, which was the son of uh, Milkai, which was the son of uh, Adi, which was the son of Kosam, which was the son of uh, El Modam, which was the son of Ur, uh, which was the son of Jose, which was the son of Eleazar, which was the son of Jorim, which was the son of Mephat, which was the son of Levi, which was the son of Simeon, which was the son of Judah, or which was the son of Judah, sorry, which was the son of Simeon, which was or, which was son of Joseph, which was the son of um, Jonan, which was the son of Elikim, Eli Eli which was the son of Malia, which was the son of Menon, Menon, which was the son of Mephiah, uh, Metaphah, which was the son of Nathan, which was the son of David, which was the son of Jesse, which was the son of Obed, which was the son of Boaz. Right, this is in the lineage of um, Joseph, should I say. But this is the lineage of Mary, I believe. Because it went through the lineage of Nathan being a son of David, right? As opposed to Solomon, right? So it says, which was the son of David, which was the son of Jesse, which was the son of Obed, which was the son of Boaz, which was the son of Solomon, which was the son of um, Nathan, which was the son of Aminadab, which was the son of Aram, which was the son of Eshrom, which was the son of uh, Pharez, which was the son of Judea, with jo Judah, which was the son of Jacob, which was the son of Isaac, which was the son of Abraham, which was the son of Pharaoh, which was the son of Nakar, which was the son of Sarah, which was the son of Ragu, which was the son of Philek, which was the son of uh, Heba, which was the son of Salah, which was the son of uh, Canaan, which was the son of Aphaxad, which was the son of Sem, which was the son of Noah, which was the son of Lamech, which was the son of Bethuselah, which was the son of Enoch, which was the son of Jared, which was the son of uh, Mel Meliel, which was the son of Ke uh, Canaan, which was the son of Enos, which was the son of Seth, which was the son of Adam, which was the son of God. Right, which shows you Adam as well as a descendant which is basically Yahweh Shai, okay, because Yahweh Shai is also known as the son of God. I, I, I literally just read it where the, the spirit descended down in the bodily shape as a dove, right, where it says that thou art my beloved son in thee, I am well pleased, all right? So the same thing is said here as well, where it says which was... um. Which was the son of, uh, which was the son of Adam, which was the son of Yahweh, all right. But this, Yahweh Shai was uh, the second Adam, which was a quicken, which would be a quickening spirit, all right. Um. So yeah, with that man, I pray you edified. Say shalom.